Greetings, guys and gals, and welcome to episode 8 of Feed the Beast. Oh my gosh, guys, it's been a while. I know, I know, I know. Sorry. I ran into some issues. Hello, pigman. Uh, our base started getting so laggy that it was even actually hard for me to play, and I don't know why. So what I did is started splitting up our base. Um, I moved our mob spawner way out here. We're a thousand blocks away, as you can see with our little mini-map. We're a thousand blocks away, and I started rebuilding our uh, mob spawner. And uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, I've got all the, the fall drop monsters here. Um, we can throw in spiders, wither skeletons, throw on some endermen. Follow my endermen. Bye. Bye. Now, the only thing I don't have set up right now... Shut that off. Don't need Enderman. Um, do need zombie brains for our thumb crap. Um, I don't have an experience farm set up just yet. But that'll be no problem. I'm planning... Ooh, one had armor. Ooh, bye. Ooh, ah. Okay. But, yeah, we got the pigs, sheep. Um, zombie pigmen, witches, cows, creepers, and skeletons. You know, for the most part, what we could use, don't really need. But yeah, I've been having some lag issues bad. And, uh, he's scared the living hell out of me. So, <laughs> now this is, uh, the water things. Um, Blaze obviously die when they hit water. Let me watch this. Let's turn these all on. Slimes and magma cubes. I see they'll get pushed down here. And we can go and watch them here. The uh, blaze will just die in the water, drop their rods. The slimes and the magma cubes fall down below and drown. And uh, all their drops, you know, go into the uh, obsidian pipes and into our system. Go to our storage, which I wish I could show you. We're going to have issues when we go to the base. Let me show you what else we've done. I wish I could show you the new base, but I... Okay, uh, that's loud. We're going to split that up more. I think I'm taking the uh, power controls and maybe just like the, our old base, turn it into a storage. And the power part where we're getting our energy, I might put in the nether. We're going to try to separate it because I don't know why it's lagging all of a sudden. But it is. These guys drowned. Oh. I heard that. A, a blaze must have spawned up above us. We're real shallow right here. Uh, two blocks is the surface, so. But yep, they're, they're just drowned, and they're going to drop all their drops. Going to go into our storage system. But I wanted to show you guys this. Uh, we're way out here, and I just made a uh, simple little... This is where we're going to come to get our mobs, and also to uh, farm experience. Right over here is where I'm going to put the Enderman farming area. Yeah, I'll show you what it looks down. I quarried this whole area out and then rebuilt it. So you can say, oh, wow. There was a magma cube down there and a slime. Well, slimes do, I did hit a slime chunk, so I am getting slimes down below, but huh. they're escaping our uh, mob system, which this is just a shell. I mean, I quarried this all out and then used filler and, and built it, what we needed, which is kind of handy because you just build whatever you want. So, okay, let's uh, get on to what I've been doing. And I have been busy, even though I haven't put up a recording. I've been working hard, and I wish I could show you the base here, and this is going to hurt. hope we don't crash. Um, oh, wait, we're in another. Screw that. Anyways, <laughs> mm, yeah, I'm building this all out of, you notice the redstone we started getting. Um, I decided to do our nether base and tracks and everything like that and the uh, redstone looks kind of cool kind of matches the nether hello pigment eh. Eh. bye Ooh. <laughs> I gotta be careful so anywho let me run back here I'm gonna put track here I think 
It's not that far to run, really. But, uh, yeah, I got a little ladder here, and I started doing it. It's not safe up here, so let's take a quick peek. But I think I'm going to put the power system here. Get down. Get down. Get, get, get. Yeah, what, really? Ever use a ladder before? Okay. Uh, okay. So, no, nah, I mean, I don't know. I'm playing with the red rock. I, I kind of like it. Looks, it's different. I like to have some uh, base hope, but that's on the bigger mod packs. But now I'm hoping we don't crash so I can get to the twilight. Because uh, our main base is still the main hub. It's where all the portals are. You know, it's our main system. So, I'm slowly breaking it apart. If I have to change and put machines one place and this one place and storage one place, I'll do it. Just to keep playing Feed the Beast and keep recordings up. Till the new computer, which is getting close now. I'm hoping to actually order it in the next couple of weeks. Things are looking good. We get through, get through. Okay, we're out. Um, oh boy, yeah, we're lagging real bad here. Uh, just showing you kind of what I've been doing. There's our power system. This is all I can really show you. I can't go down below. Um, we will lag like hell. But uh, this, this is what I'm going to put in the nether. This little nice little compact power system just you know the the bio uh, fuel engines with you know the MJ unit and everything and we don't need that much energy really then below us I, I moved everything into one chunk I can I, I crushed everything together before it was all spread out and I had to keep oh no you don't see that's why this is dangerous this is a very dangerous area still um, but yeah, uh, it's all in just one chunk. I can keep this all with just one chunk. And I wish I could... Yeah, there's too many creep. I don't want to blow anything up. But, let's go to the twilight. I'll show you more. I want to move some stuff and try to get this lag knocked out. And figure out what is causing the lag. I moved all the mob spawners. Everything has been quarried out. That took me forever. Moving. You've seen how much stuff we have. We still have all of our stuff. I, I just moved it. And then returned it, and it's taken a week. So, not much done here, still. I've been working my ass off over at the maze area. And I did make a track, because I do want to go exploring Twilight Forest with you guys. And I want to take the portal gun. I don't want to rely on the portal to get back and forth. It's kind of a long ride, but we're going to take it. Because um, the portal gun, you know, right now we can jump right through and go to our maze. But uh, we're going to be moving that because there's a lot in the Twilight Forest we have not even touched. I mean, Lich Towers. and We haven't been anywhere, actually. We, we found a, a maze, and that's all we've done. So, let's go for a ride. It's a nice ride. It's scenic. Got to watch this forest, though. This, I, I went around the edge of the forest, just, you know, and we don't want to go through the middle of it or anything. I hate these dark forests. They're da dangerous. Get out of the way, sheep! Gosh, get out of the way. Alright. Okay, it's not perfect. That's the first time I've ever seen that sheep there. Oh, wait, no. Birdie, move! Birdie, boat, oh, nope. <sighs> Maybe someday we'll make it. Oh, shit, something's shooting at me. Oh, Jesus. Stop. Look at that giant spider. Oh, you ass muncher. All right. Yeah. Stupid birds, you know, they have... I, that's the first time I've had anything on those tracks in my way. Before I was moving and... I, uh, screw the experience. We don't worry about that. And I bumped into deer, but usually I can, like, bump into them hard enough to push them out of my way. Okay, here we go. Come on. Go on, baby. You can do it. Go. On. Hit the power track. Hit it. We're on the power track now. Oh, for 
Don't make me cuss and swear. <laughs> Stupid. Alright. <laughs> We're gonna get this to work, damn it. Push, 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 push. I can't wait. The the cart system and everything, I love well, there we go. 1.5 is like really fix this. You know, it's funny going back to 1.4.7 kind of sucks. Let's get our boat ready to try to shoot anything on the track. Woohoo! That's how we get close to the maze. Deer up in the tree. Ooh. Crow. Raven. Whatever it may be. Here's the other maze, right here, right along to our other maze. <laughs> kind of close together within 250 blocks. So this is kind of cool. Loud ass track. No, nope, no, nope, back. All right. Bingo. All right. I just see, I started to build a little house. I figured we're going to spend some time here. I moved all the thalm craft here. I'm not done yet. Um, I was using the dark wood. It's actually a real pretty wood. And then the, and it turns into spruce when you break it down. So, you know, got ourselves a nice little fireplace. And made a bed up here. And the portal's right there. I mean, that's going to change because we're going to go out exploring. Probably not this episode. But this is where my spawn point is. Um, show you what I've done. It's all quarried out. And believe it or not, I can get the quarry running underneath. I don't get none of the blocks. It just breaks them. But it's a lot better than me trying to break them with a pickaxe because it takes forever. There's our little deck overlooking the entire area. So, kind of nice. Um, this goes down. Uh, oh, let me show you our thalm craft. I've been bringing it up. I made an ender chest with a different color over at the base so I can just throw things in it and then transfer it to a crate. And uh, by the way, that last thing we were working on ended up being uh, one of the main things so we can start working on the wands. So it was kind of cool that hard with all the things on it. Where's my book? Oh, and I found some silver wood. And I got some saplings and I planted them. They haven't grown yet. They take forever to grow. One on each side. Um, the magic in this area well I don't know what it is yet we gotta be able to get up and make the goggles and things so I can tell more but let me get the book on here and show you so this is what we learned with that last thing I was showing the last episode that uh, this is what it was which opened up for us to build the wands and we can start moving down to all this other really cool stuff golems I want to make I want to make the little fellas <laughs> But, uh, yeah. But that's all I've done. I, I Basically, everything has been moving. I've been moving, moving, moving. So, yeah, we got all of our stuff here. Let's, uh, put this in the system. I don't want all this crap on us. We're gonna need room. And I started laying out some food on. Below us here. Uh, let me show you this. Basically, what this does is goes to our killing section um, it, it splits in two okay the water comes up well we it, you get pushed in and by the way this is a chicken spawner I didn't have a really good place to drown chickens now I do oh excuse me Ugh. okay so what happens is I'll get down below and show you how this works but slimes and everything sink so they drop down below and I don't know if you guys can see that but there's a the obsidian pipes, it's three by three. Slimes fall down below. Everything else gets pushed and swims up to this glass and can't go no further and drown. So we got a nice little drowning set up here. I used to have a way down here, but now I don't because I started building this without you guys, sorry. Just a little, just to see if it was working right. So to get down to our maze now, we have to run all the way to the edge and shortcut through the house, it's not done, but it's going to be just a nice little cozy home for us to do our thalm craft and might do the bees here and stuff. It's it's very unlaggy for the most part right now. Uh, okay. 
Got to be a little careful here. I don't have no charms of keeping on me yet. <laughs> That's what I'm after. That is what I'm after. So, ouch. Oh, yes. Haste. Oh, I'm starting to dislike these haste boots. Yes, but below us, I have started clearing that out. And what I've been doing is just throwing up a quarry, and a quarry just fits. It doesn't hit all the blocks. It leaves the ceiling, which is okay. Mobs can't spawn on the ceiling. But it destroys all the blocks. And, yeah, I don't get to keep them. But, for me to mine it out with a pick would take forever. Uh, let me show you real quick what I've done down there. Oh, and I did capture the the boss, the centaur. The Moose Room Centaur, whatever it may be, the name of it. But I did capture it. We have to be careful. They still spawn because I haven't done it all. But you can see I've been using the quarry and just going around. Leaves the roof, ceiling, but we can come back and break that if we want to. But, right, the, the more we break down here, the more efficient our little thing is, is going to be up there. But here he is. I could kill him, and we could get this really cool axe. Hey, fella. <laughs> he packs the wall. Oh, <laughs> he hits hard. Watch this. Bam. Mm. But yeah, we could get that axe. It's not all that good. And yeah, we could find more of these in other mazes, but we're going we're gonna to keep that little fella. Oh, he's pissy. Woohoo. <laughs> but yeah, so this is like the underneath. Let me run around here real quick. Got to be a little cre very careful. Well, it's like what a creeper going to do, blow up our blocks here. But I've been going around it and grabbing these chests. I want to grab that. Uh... Oh, I did find out these will spawn on bedrock, but it's the dark. See, up above, twilight is kind of dark all the time, but doesn't really count. But yeah, I've just been collecting that as we go. Nothing really important we need right this second. So, yeah, once I get all this out, our little system up above will be super efficient. Eat. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So, let me show you what we've been doing here. i got to grab some materials. i got some, uh, basically all we need is science and stone. Which, I have. Let's grab some extra signs, and I'll show you how I've been building this. All right, this is the way it works. Um, let me kind of got to step up here, and with haste boots, I can make this jump. Oh, oh, oh! It is. See, it's already working because I started covering it. There's our chicken spawner to get feathers and stuff. I really don't need food, but this is how it works. Now watch this fella. Now there is a small glitch in it, is there is a one by one airspace kinda, and sometimes they get caught. But when this gets bigger and mobs are spawning, they kinda push each other through it. So what's gonna happen is eventually he will be pushed in, he'll go up and drown, and those beetles drop, I think, uh, gunpowder. Nothing really important. So, yeah, he's bouncing around. He will get pushed in eventually, they do drown. That's very... It works good. Um, it's kind of a mess. It's kind of hard to explain how you know how I did this. So I figured you know I did a little, and now I'm gonna build some. Um, basically, where they they spawn on these pads. Now right in here, and they'll wander a little bit. I have different ways I can do this. This is like real fast and if, you know real fast and easy. It's not always efficient because if a mob jump, they can actually jump back up. I could actually dip it down and then run the water so they can't jump back up, but we don't need this super efficient. Oh, there, there he is. See, he's drowning. See him? Oh, wrong button. Zoom. Oh, he drowned. And then his stuff will drop down into our and go into our system. Now the stuff here is not going into our main storage. It's going up above because I kind of like to see how it's working, and then I can go down and switch it over to our main storage. So basically, what we're doing is uh, we'll start here. Water flows at eight blocks. See, so you just uh, got some signs, and you count over eight blocks, which this is. And then after the, uh, well, this will be on the ninth block. And then here we put it up above. Like so. And I've got water. And we have an infinite supply right over here because we need lots of water for this. 
Now we could put a you know a thing here and do it instead of wasting all that time. What I do is throw one in the middle. I'll demonstrate how this works. There, because it ain't got the flow that we want. Like uh, the new stuff. Gotta break that. And then, oh crap! Let me get out of here. I gotta put all the water on me. Ah, well, we'll just do it this way. One there. And one dial. And there you go. And then we'll go reload up on water. And then we'll... The same thing here. Oh, crap. See, I left the backs open so you can actually jump down. But the pads are making, you know, uh, five wide. And then it drops down into a two by three for a water push. They can jump up out of that. But we don't need it super efficient. This is just something to do. Something different. You know what I mean? And then it gets pushed down into this, you know, this deeper one that gets... Ah, oh, crap, I didn't make it. But anyways, you get the gist of it. You know, you're just basically using water to push them along. Now, once they fall into this middle stream... And I figure we're going to do this the whole... Quite a ways. We're going to make it kind of huge. So it's, you know, a little more efficient. We need those charms to keep it. And then I cover it. So it is getting, you know, so it's dark and they'll spawn because they won't spawn in the daylight. Mm -hmm. And if we wanted to, we can go up another level if we wanted to make this super, you know, mm -hmm. duper mob trap here. Um, it's kind of a pain to make, but, you know, if the soul shards worked in the twilight, which hopefully, you know, mm -hmm. I don't know. I've heard so many rumors what's going to happen when 1.6 comes out at, right now. I don't know. They're saying they're mm -hmm. not going to go to 1.5 on uh, Feed the Beast, that they're going to jump right to 1.6, which is going to take them a while because that's a lot of updating and fixing of all the mobs or mods that they use. Mm -hmm. Right now, it's, I don't know. I know that 1.6 is coming out soon, and I am, you know, really looking forward to that. Woohoo! Nice thing about haste boots. But uh, anyways, here, let me demonstrate this and pray we live. What happens is, of course, you get slowly pushed. Whee! This is not the most efficient design. This is a simple, fast design. What happens is, boom, slimes will drop and they'll drown. And all this stuff gets caught in there. Any other mob wants to swim. So they'll try to swim up. And then they get, you know, caught right here. And I have a little bit of a current trying to push it out. But, oh, shit. Get out, get out, get out before I drown. Okay. <laughs> but, I mean, it's it, it's basic, simple. Nothing spectacular about it. But I haven't built one of these in a while. And I, I just wanted to build it. Yeah, this is old school Minecraft. This is old mob farming type crap. Which, yeah, nothing wrong with that, yeah. It's kind of fun doing. A little water lag and everything, yeah, it's fun. Other ways we could do it, make it really efficient and everything, but the only thing we're really after is uh, charms of keeping, and we really don't need that many of them. And uh, our little house up there, I built... You know, just because I figured we'd do thumb craft out here while we're doing stuff like that. You know, I'm not even putting a chunk load or nothing like that here. We'll just, you know, let the mob spawn and... I mean, we don't need that many charms of keeping, you know. Just, you know, carry on me and have a couple backups. So if I do die, I keep all my gear. and Which has been an epic thing with me with all this quarry. And, you know, I'll be running around. These haste boots, I, I love the speed, but sometimes I get into trouble and fall off cliffs and yeah so what i want to start doing though is i'm going to start doing that we got a lot of stuff over here we got some good stuff to start doing some re more research i want to get up to and then let me get the book and i'll we'll get into this a little bit and I, i'll probably start bees out here we got like nice fields and everything so it, it, very unlaggy here it's nice no machines, and I am going to split up the base. I really want to show you guys what I've done in that way the storage system looks. It's a lot smaller, more compact. Uh, but I'm trying to get rid of the lag there, and not working so well. So I do want to get into making these uh, wands. These are really cool and fun to play with. 
and, and I want to get down and learn the golems and there's so much we can build you know and it doesn't look like much now but it extends and then there's a uh, getting the knowledge fragments where we can learn certain things that you can't learn from studying so a lot of stuff to do on Thalmcraft a lot of stuff to build warded glass and warded stone and stuff like that we can get into killing some wither um, but I want to do some exploring and now we got a mine cart out here nice little scenic route uh, we can use our portal gun because that way we got a quick return you know we can just go out somewhere and just start wandering and looking for really cool stuff and then just you know use the portal gun to teleport ourselves back so this is what I've been working on and it's been taking a lot of time I've been working on this and a lot of work in my regular Minecraft survival series which I'm gonna be recording actually right after this um, I need to get caught up on videos but I had some really lag issues and a lot of grinding and a lot of just boring work that I, I, I can't put into video so I hope you guys don't mind me being you know, late, but I've done quite a bit of work. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to work more on our little uh, mob spawning system down there. And I want to clear out the rest of the underneath there. I don't know what I'm going to do underneath there. We could do almost anything. No mobs will spawn. we got this giant open area of bedrock all around. I'll have to think about it. We, I'm sure we could come up with something to do with that area. But <laughs> who knows? But anywho, <laughs> um, I, I just wanted to catch you guys up and let you guys know I'm still here. I, I've been very hard at work. A lot of hours. I mean, a lot of hours. At least 10 hours a day sitting here in front of this computer. Sometimes even longer. Working in both here and my mind, uh, regular survival series. So I wanted to catch you guys up. Let you know. Things are happening. And, uh see what I've done and hopefully I can kill that lag at the base I want to move a few more things see if we can't you know stop it and then uh, maybe next episode I'll show you real quick how much I've got you know done with this this is what I'm gonna be working on and then we're gonna go exploring there's I want to find um, there's like that Naga uh, snake area there's like regular above ground mazes um, lich towers we have yet to even touch you know, the, the Hydra. Yeah, the, we have not touched the Twilight Forest at all. But we have a nice little house here started and a nice little cabin, which needs a lot of work too, so I'll probably work on that. And uh, that's what we're going to do. And then I'm going to hop over here and get on the uh, Minecraft Survival, and I'll be bouncing back and forth. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like and please subscribe. Get the word out if you guys enjoy this. And uh hope you guys have a great day or night, as the case may be. And I'll see you in the next episode. Later, guys.